Yeah. All right. You, yeah, you're going to use that camera. And yep. We want to see. We want to see the video stuff in the background. All right. So. You might be too tall. I'll sit down. Yes. Are we good, Karis? We ready? Yeah, I'm ready. For we got a black screen. All right. I can hear you. Let's switch to camera. Tell me. Give me a go go. All right. Hey, welcome, church. If you are watching this, we're excited to uh, share a report with you about Embrace York and what's happening on Embrace York. Uh, we're going to be actually going live to get some interviews of the people as they're serving. And um, we're just excited to say our church is, instead of worshiping in a building this morning, we're out serving and showing the love of Jesus to a community. We stay here at YGBC. We want to be in the community for the community. And uh, this is one of the ways that we do that. So we're looking forward to be able to uh, show you some uh, videos, show you what's happening, and uh, take you out live to get some quick reports from people. Hey, before we do that, let's jump to last year's Embrace York video. This is what happened last year when our church went out to serve the community. railroad track team it's uh hot out today so we're we're chugging right along though um we have found a lot of interesting things we've cleared a lot of space uh we have this very interesting owl that also looks like a fish here check it out we we're trying to debate which one it is um you you can help us be the judge yeah. of that so we're gonna put this in micah's window oh that sounds Whoa. good sort of <laughs> um, we also have a nice flat screen TV as long as you don't need it to work. So, uh, but yeah, we're, I'll take you around and we'll see a little bit of what's going on here. First and foremost, you can see behind me, this is all the space that we've cleared so far today. Um, so we've, we've made it about maybe 75, 
possibly 100 yards of the track. Uh, we're looking at trying to finish another 40 to 50 yards. That's the goal at this point, and everyone's working really hard toward it. Um, so, Zach, why don't you flip the camera and walk around a little bit? How's it going, Callie? It's going. It's a little it's warm out today, right? Yeah. It's a little humid, but yeah. glad to be out and helping to yeah. clean up yeah, our church sure. I know why I'm so. People good. pay for this, guys. People pay to go to saunas. That's right. If People pay to go to saunas. You pan down. This is what it looked like, Zach, if you walk that way a little bit. This is what the whole track looked like up to the bridge. And our friends who came out today, we, ha we even have extra friends and people who came out from a land company, other people who are helping us today. And um, yeah, what we did is totally clean. If you look behind us, it's totally different and amazing down there. So yeah, it's pretty exciting. We're making a dent. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so hopefully things are going well at all the other places, but we wanted to let you guys know what's going on here. We have about 30 people with us out this team site, and uh, it's been going great. All right. Well, that is awesome, Micah. Thank you, Zach. I think we had 29 people head out there to pick up trash, and the heat index is going to be 95 degrees in the shade. So they are working hard, and we're excited to jump into a a job that not many people take you know it's not the city's responsibility it's not the homeowner's responsibility but it, our church says we want to go clean up the tracks and make york beautiful um micah thank you so much for what you're doing zach thank you guys and um we love the report any closing thoughts yeah well so we had 29 people from our church come out and then we were joined out here by a couple individuals from is it NNA -N Landscaping? K and A. K and A. K and A Landscaping. Um, I just want to give them a shout out because they they heard about what we're doing and they said we just want to be a part of it. They're trying to do things for the next four weeks to try to help beautify the city and the neighborhood and love on people. Um, so hey, if you ever need any lawn care done, look up K and A uh, Landscaping. They they are excellent. It's been great to get to know them. Um, and just a special shout out to everyone who's out in the heat because this has been great. All right, we will. Uh, <laughs> Kick over to a worship song, and then we'll take you to another service site. We'll see you guys. Unstoppable, we'll shout your praise forevermore. 
Jesus, our God unstoppable, nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable, we'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God unstoppable, nothing shall be impossible. Church is Pastor BJ here with my aging assistant Bria out here at York Farm Fresh Foods. 
in around so you can see a little bit of what we got going. Really cool opportunity for our church to serve York. And we've got a couple of people here that are willing to share what we're doing. So I'm going to walk over to Michelle. Michelle, share a little bit about what we got going. You want to get a little bit closer to Michelle so we can hear her? Get to harvest some vegetables and plant some new ones and feed. And looking great out here. <laughs> but uh, we're doing well. This is my second year here, and it's just such a great um, service opportunity. So we're here. We also have a number of young ones with us here that are helping out. Brock, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing over here? Well, we're just picking new vegetables. Picking new vegetables, and what else are we doing? We're, we're out here on work. Picking vegetables and we're picking new ones. And we're planting new ones. You got it. So picking vegetables and planting new ones. That's great. So I'm going to bring us over here to Sayla. Sayla the one running this operation. She is uh, helping us figure out what we're doing and teaching us a little bit along the way. So Sayla, if you just want to tell us what York Farm Fresh Food does and uh, and what it's all about. Um, hi, guys. We really appreciate everybody being out here. Uh, York Fresh Food Farms is we operate in Earth farm. This is one of two locations. Sure. Um, York Fresh Food Farms is a nonprofit urban farm and we operate a mobile produce market in the city of York. So we grow produce and then um, our goal is to sell it at affordable prices to our neighbors. Um, we also donate a lot of produce to various um, charitable Distributors of food bank, um, life path, or daily bread, different different organizations in the city. Um, yeah, our goal is to cultivate community health through access, um, affordability, and agriculture. Here we're growing the food. We want to teach people. Um, we want to show them how they can grow their own food um, and also feed them um, and just teach them what we know. Teach them about sustainability. Um, and really just love everyone and um, just be a neighbor to everybody. So, again, we really appreciate you guys being here. We're getting a lot done. It's really awesome. Um, it's awesome to have the same people here again. Uh, that's really cool. And, um, yeah, really grateful for your guys' help today. Cool. So we are thankful for Sayla and the crew out here, what they're doing for York. And they're embracing York as well, and we're helping them do that. Uh, so we're out here we're sweating it out we're getting a lot done hopefully you can see behind me all the different stuff that they have going on it's kind of uh an oasis in the middle of the city so we're glad to be here and hopefully you guys are having a good morning with us all right thank you bj for sharing uh we're gonna go to another worship song and then hear from our third uh embrace york team as they're making encouragement kits we'll see ya see ya then sings my soul, my Savior God, to
We're here at the church in the air conditioning. And so we're encouraging you as we're encouraging everybody else. I'm going to flip it around so you can see what everybody's doing and um, just give you a little taste of our morning. Okay, we're here at this table. This is Glenn and Cheryl and Anita, wherever she's at. She's out getting supplies. Um, I want to ask you guys, what is your um, favorite takeaway from today? And you want to answer real loud so yeah. we can hear you. Just thinking about all these people that we haven't seen in so long, it just brings back present memories of them. Hoping to bring a smile on their face and a glitter in their eye. Something, Glenn? <laughs> it's, uh, we're trying to bring in more love. Let them know we love them very much. Miss them. Awesome. All righty. And over at this table, we have... Um, Michelle, Nathan, and Natalie, and they've been working away. What is your takeaway from today? Um, I would say that it's um, using your gifts and trying to encourage people that uh, otherwise might feel discouraged in life and whatever circumstances they're in. So this is just a really small way for us to be able to, to show some love to them. All right. You need your wave, Nathan. <laughs> That's Nathan's talk. <laughs> Natalie, go wave. All right. They've They've been making some awesome stuff. Okay, and then over here on this table, we've got ready, ready. They're in the math. They're the ones that are, are being, um, and Joy was here too, but she had to head home. But she was, um, so what are you guys, what is your takeaway from today? Uh, who wants to talk? Um, my takeaway is spending time together and getting to know each other better. And then also the people that we're making the cards for, just kind of knowing what's going on in their lives and praying for them as we're making their cards. Cool. You want to just wave? Wave. It's okay. I made a, a card here for Betty and one for Pat. And uh, now I'm doing one for Wayne. And I just want to share that Wayne and Mary own, I think it'll be number 52 years of marriage coming up here in August for them. So just hoping it brings a smile on Wayne's face too. 
and uh, it's just been great getting to, to fellowship with him and Skip because I, it's our first time to sit down together. Oh, cool, and then you so, want to go through the list. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, and then also uh, we're making cards for Bud and our yeah. Uh, yeah. Bud Howard, and, and uh, he's at home and staying pretty much close home. That's what the doctor's orders are. And then Barb and uh, Howard, I think that's about for them too. They stay pretty close to home. Yep. And uh, and then Renee, she uh, used to come here to church as a young girl, and she's battling leukemia. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're encouraging her with a card, and uh, and she is Karen Ugalana's uh, sister. Oh. And then also Dale and Beth Durst. Uh, we're remembering them as they no longer can come and Dick and Mary Ann wanders. And then Dave Staley, I don't believe, has been back. So we're keeping him in our prayers as we do cards. And, and Jean Harner and Sean uh, Murray right now is under the weather. And, uh, and Chris Weaver and Irene Strider is a, a new gal. And uh, Bill Garner. Right. So, okay. All right. Well, there you have it. And if you get too hot, just come on back to the church and help us be creative. Back to you. All right. Well, thank you, Judy. And thank you, encouragement team. Uh, it's fun to see how some people are picking up trash along a railroad park. Some people are harvesting vegetables and weeding. And some people are um, making encouragement kits to bless and just show others from our church that are unable to come how much we love them and how much we miss them. So thank you guys for what you're doing. You're welcome. See ya. Hello, Karis family. Phil Sparling here, Executive Director. I want to invite you to a very special event that we're having this summer. On the last Sunday night of July, the July the 26th, we're having an online North American event. We're calling it We Are One. And we're just going to celebrate as a North American fellowship some things that God is doing. We're going to be hearing from some people across the fellowship, singing some songs together. It's going to be a very inspiring and encouraging time to be together. So let me encourage you, gather together in watch parties, whether it's your church or your life group or your home, and just join this great celebration. But I just want to personally invite you to come. I'll see you the last Sunday night of July for We Are One. Well, hopefully you noticed the, uh, the date on that We Are One is tonight. It's uh, July 26th at 6 o'clock. And um, we want to uh, let you know what we're doing next after this. We've got people coming to uh, Rocky Ridge. Uh, we're going to be heading to a pavilion back uh, near the rear of the park. And um, Chestnut Oak, I believe, is what it's called. And we're going to be having a church picnic back there. And we'll be streaming the We Are One event so that we can uh, be able to worship and just uh, hear the reports about our fellowship and what's going on around our uh, around the country at different churches. So we're really excited. If you're unable to make it to the uh, church cookout there, we encourage you to watch at home and uh, check it out from there. We'll be sharing the link a little in a little bit later uh, this afternoon, so you'll be able to find that easily. Well, Embrace York has been a great Sunday. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, being able to go to the three different serving projects, hear what's happening there, and um, just kind of see a, a picture of what our church is doing as we go into the community to love, care for, and um, help be a, a part of the community where God has placed us in here. Uh, we'll bring some slides up behind me here. You'll be able to see a couple quick announcements. Uh, last Tuesday, we had a uh, vision business meeting uh, that was streamed on YouTube, and um, we encourage people to watch it. It's just 47 minutes long, shares a, a report from where we've been in 2020 and where we're going in the second half of the year. And this coming Tuesday, the 28th, we're going to have a Zoom call where people can ask questions and we can have a discussion and dialogue about what you heard. And so we're looking forward to have that connection with you. We ask you, if uh, this is your church home, we ask you to be a part of that Zoom call and uh, be a part of the discussion as we answer questions and talk in more detail about the future and what's coming towards us here as we finish out 2020. Um, another slide's coming up right now. It's going to be just a help wanted slide, but we want to communicate and let people know 
Uh, we are looking for help and assistance. Grace Kids is needing some extra hands. Um, it can be a volunteer position that uh, when you're available, we give you a job to do. It's not a, a weekly regular commitment. And um, if you're interested in talking uh, more, please contact Michelle Overmiller or you can uh, email the church or connect with us on the church Facebook page. But we would love to get you in more contact there. The other need we have is running our audio video side of things. As you can see, I'm actually coming from the sound booth. Usually we're always looking up at the stage, um, but this afternoon or this morning we're in the sound booth. You can see behind me our video production corner. On the other side we have our um, computer that's running the words on the screen and our soundboard. All of these um, take people in order to uh, make Sunday mornings happen, and we need more people to join the team right now. So if you are interested at all, we'll train you, we'll teach you, we'll, we'll point you in the right direction as far as what you need to do. And um, this is also another opportunity you can serve as you're available, um, and we'll build a schedule around that. But right now, as we move forward, we're looking for more help, and we've continued to talk about it. We haven't got a whole lot of response yet. So if you're watching and you're thinking, man, I, I think I could do that, I, I need to encourage you to take that step. We, we need a couple more people to help us have some depth on our volunteer team. So please consider taking a step out of your comfort zone and help serve and help make Sunday mornings happen here for us as we move forward. All right, the final comment as we wrap up. Um, this morning, again, online giving will be an opportunity for you to continue to give towards the vision of our church. And I want to thank you for those that faithfully give, that regularly give. This is a, a step of worship. It's a step of being uh, worshipful to God with what he's blessed us with. We give back in a gift to him. And I want to thank you for the way you do that. You can go to our website, ygbc.net, and one of the top tabs on the corner uh, right-hand corner you'll see is online giving. takes a couple minutes to be able to plug in your information, and um, you can set up a, a giving pattern even that will uh, automatically be able to send the gifts ahead of time in case you struggle to remember to do that. You can mail checks into the church as well. That's another form of offering that we can accept. And we just want to thank you again for the way you're supporting the work that Jesus is doing here in our church and in our community. Well, again, thank you for watching. Thanks to the Embrace York teams that are out serving, and we look forward to moving forward. Next Sunday, we're back here, um, 9.30 and 11 o'clock, two services happening, and we encourage you to join us and be a part of our worship next Sunday. Thanks so much.